politics. Uh, Donald Trump uh, made a lot of headlines this week when he appeared to mistake the Quds Force, an Iranian military group, uh, for the Kurds, a Middle Eastern people. He made his comments uh, during an interview with conservative talk show host uh, Hugh Hewitt. Uh, Senator Marco Rubio said uh, about this, if you don't know the answer to these questions, you're not going to be commander-in-chief. You're not fit to be commander-in-chief, he suggested. Trump says that the questions amounted to a game of gotcha. W what did you think? Uh, I think I'd rather have a president who is tough and puts America first than uh, can win a game of trivial pursuit. Some of those questions, uh, I don't know if other candidates were posed the same questions, so I don't know if they would have the answers, but I don't think the public gives a flying flip if somebody knows um, who today is a specific leader of a specific region or religion or anything, because that leader will change, of course, uh, when the next president uh, uh, comes into power, just based on the volatility of politics uh, in these other areas. So I don't think the public is so concerned about that. And and then, you know, it's kind of subjective, too, right, uh, whether a candidate is worthy to be given attention and, and, and respect and be taken seriously if they don't know the leader of some a, a tribe or a religion or even a country. Uh, when, how about other candidates who may not know um, the price of a barrel of oil today or how much oil it is that we are importing from foreign nations, unfriendly foreign nations, and we have an, a, a ban on exporting our own oil and we have prohibitions and bans on drilling for our own oil. Details maybe involved in that that a candidate doesn't know. Hey, I'd be subjected. I say, hey, if you don't know that, well, then you're not worthy of being taken seriously, Mr. Candidate. Donald Trump said this week that Jeb Bush should speak English and not Spanish uh, when he's campaigning in the U.S. Uh, Jeb Bush's response was that Trump doesn't value tolerance. What did you make of that debate? I, I don't know what, um, you know, choosing to speak uh, English or, or Spanish in a, a conversation, uh, what that would have to do with uh, somebody opposing it with tolerance or not. Um, I think that uh, it, it, it's a benefit of um, Jeb Bush to be able to be so fluent in Spanish because we have a large and wonderful uh, Hispanic population that, uh, you know, is helping to build America. And that's good. And, and that's a great uh, relationship that, and connection that he has with them through um, his wife and, and through his family connections. On the other hand, um, you know, I think we can send a message to say, you want to be in America? A, you better be here legally or you're out of here. B, when you're here, let's speak American. I mean, that, that's, a, that's let's speak English, and, and that's a, kind of a, a unifying um, aspect of a nation is uh, the language that is understood by all. But, you know, I took Spanish in high school, and I took French in high school. Shouldn't have taken them both because I got them all mixed up by the time I was <laughs> graduating. Uh, but, uh, again, a, a benefit of Mr. Bush, and um, I think, uh, you know, that's one of those issues, too, where whoop, goes right over the public's head. Um, legitimately so. They're on to the next issues that are very important for the candidates to be debating. But as you, as you noted uh, in your response, uh, it is important for the Republican Party to expand and reach out uh, to Hispanics, to Latinos. In a speech to the National Press Club uh, that some viewed as a, almost an audition for vice president, uh, or at least vice president nominee, South Carolina Republican Governor Nikki Haley, who you were an early supporter of, uh, said that the Republican Party, quote, often appears cold and unwelcoming to minorities. She said it's shameful and it has to change. Do you agree? No, because I can't think of any Republican that I know who would have that in their hearts. Um, I think Republicans and independents, that is the party of tolerance. It certainly doesn't matter the color of your skin uh, and some of the other things that, uh, you know, are, are banted around as being um, kind of the judging barometer of whether somebody's welcome in the party or not.